Hello, welcome to Rob's Reviews and Demos. Thanks for clicking on the link. Merry Christmas. This is the continuance of our Christmas Spectacular. Today we're going to do an in-depth feature review and a sound demo of the Sonos Move. That's this guy right here. Now the Sonos Move is kind of the answer to the Ultimate Ears Hyperboom. They're the same price. $399.99. That's the regular retail price on both speakers. The Sonos Move has uh, way more features. Um, it's a smart speaker, so you can stream, uh, stream, you know, through your Wi-Fi. But I got to tell you, I mean, it's $400. It is a smart speaker. I get it. You know, it's it's a pretty cool speaker, but I just I, I don't know if it's worth $400. Um, the smart speaker thing's cool, but everybody has, you know, Google Assistant or Siri or whatever on their phone. So do you really need a $400 smart speaker? Um, that's for you to decide. If if I was going to buy a, you know, a, a Bluetooth speaker for 400 bucks, I would probably go with the Hyperboom. Now, the Hyperboom won't stream through your Wi-Fi connection in your house, but obviously you can stream through your phone. So, again, is it really necessary to stream through your Wi-Fi uh, with a smart speaker? I don't know. That's I guess that's for you to decide. There's I guess there's pros and cons to it, but um, for me, I use it for music. I don't really use the Google Assistants and all that stuff. So the Hyperboom is the right choice for me. It's much louder. Um, I think the sound quality is probably a little bit better. But um, it's a decent speaker, but I just, I can't see it for 400 bucks, guys. Uh, there is one cool thing. Okay, so there is one pretty cool thing about the Sonos. Uh, it has this charging ring, which is pretty neat. Uh, I'm sure you can see that. Uh, it's neat, but... It may be a little bit impractical for some people, and I'll tell you why. Because basically, you sit this thing on a table, and then you drop the speaker into it when you want to charge it. So you're not, like, struggling to plug the wire in. Uh, you just drop the speaker on there. It's a pretty cool feature. If you got tons of room in your house and open space, it's a very cool feature. But if you're like us, and your tables are kind of crowded to begin with, having this thing sitting around all the time is you know not really practical um that's not to say you can't stick it in a drawer or something like that and just get it out when you need it but it kind of defeats the purpose of having the ring where you can just drop it in there so um yeah i just find it for me it's not practical for you it may be a great fit so you know all i can do is share my experience with with these products so it is, it is interesting and neat and different, so I appreciate that, but I just don't know if it's, if it's you know, feasible for a lot of people. So that said, so we're going to get on with the sound demo and the feature review. I hope you guys like the video. Uh, if you have any questions about the speaker, uh, hit me up in the comments. I'm always around. Uh, it may take me a day to get back to you, but I will. And uh, like I said, enjoy the video. Okay, so here we are. This is the Sonos Move. There's the ring. You know, it takes up, uh, I want to say, six inches of space. Front to back, five inches, or uh, six inches side to side, five inches uh, front to back. Um, little, you got a little charge indicating light down here, so it's low on charge right now. So this speaker, unlike the One SL, this speaker does have a Bluetooth mode. And it's similar to the Hyperboom in the way that when you set it in a new location and play music, it will listen to itself and tune itself to where it's sitting. Um, the manufacturer recommends keeping it at least one inch off a wall. So we're more than good right here. Uh, it's interesting. It actually has about six microphones in the top of this thing. So it really is listening to the sound. Uh, all the way around it. Uh, it's pretty interesting. So there's not a ton of features. Um, it is a smart speaker, so you can connect it to your Google Play account or, or you know, whatever you're using. Uh, it will do all that for you. Basically has the same as the One SL. It has a play pause button on the top, and then to skip ahead, you just swipe across the top right here, and it'll skip forward a song. To skip back, you just swipe back. Uh, so it's pretty simplistic to use. 
The only thing I did find with the Sonos is it's a little bit tougher to set the app up with it. Um, luckily, this thing has the Bluetooth feature, so that makes it a lot more simpler. Uh, but if you want to use the app, it's a little more tricky to get the music and everything into the app. So that said, we're going to go ahead and play some music on this thing. It's it's fairly loud. Um, I don't think it has the same amount of bass that the Hyperboom has. The Hyperboom will actually, you know, shake, vibrate you a little bit where this guy doesn't seem to. But it, it does sound good and it is pretty loud. Uh, it's a decent speaker. It does have a USB-C in the back for uh, charging on the go. If you want to charge in the car, you know, you got the USB-C connection in the back. So... Um, that's a good feature to have because you don't want to take that ring anywhere. The ring is only good for indoors, obviously. Uh, the speaker is IP56 rated. Um, it's drop proof, crush proof, wind proof, moisture proof, not a pouring rain proof, the manual says. So me, myself, I'm not getting that thing wet, not for 400 freaking bucks. You know what I mean? So uh, let's play some music and, you know, I'll give you my opinion on the speaker and you guys can kind of judge for yourselves what you think. And let's get on with the show. Do a little hip hop first. We'll, we'll start out about half volume and then I'll turn it up. About 50% right there. Oh, wow. That is low. Let's turn it up a bit. I'll tell you what, that's that's pretty darn low. Um, I'm not sure if it's quite as rocking as the the hyper boom i'm gonna to have to put the hyper boom over here and try it but that that sounds pretty darn good so listen to that bass at 50 percent that is some low bass but when i turn it up watch So it seems like it sounds way better at 50% than it does at 100%. And it sounds better at 75% than 100%. But it definitely cuts back on bass when you get it um, when you get it turned up a good bit. I almost want to say it, 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 it's not so much that it cuts back on the bass, it just turns the treble in the mid up more. So let's, uh, let's jump to another song here. I'm going to stay at three-quarter volume. Okay, it's a pretty good sounding speaker. Uh, I think I like the, I still like the Hyper Boom a little more even though this is a smart speaker as well and it has the cool charging base, I think you get a little more sound out of the Hyperboom than you do this thing. All right, about 80% again. We have a visitor. We have a we have a visitor here, um, an assistant reviewer, coming to say hello to everybody. Say hi, everybody. Say hi. Say hi, everybody. What's this? What's that? That's Pepper, my little baby. All right, let's do a rock song. I think the. Um, Honestly, the Sonos sound really good with rock music. Check it out. Pretty awesome. 
I think they handle rock a little bit better than they do hip hop. But uh, yeah, it's a decent sounding speaker. So uh, let me show you the top of the thing and everything in the back. So here's the top. Um, play pause and like I said, swipe ahead. You know, swipe back. Uh, when you pick the speaker up, it senses it and it'll adjust the sound for a couple minutes, it says, after you set it down. So the back, you can see there's not much to it. Um, basically, you got a power button. You have your, the middle button is to switch to Bluetooth. And then the bottom button is to link with your Wi-Fi. And then down the very bottom there is your USB-C connection. Nice speaker. I mean, it sounds good. It has some decent sound, but the Ultimate Ears Hyperboom is just, it's better. I can't tell a lie, man. This is my first, only my second Sonos speaker I've tested. I wasn't happy with the One SL at all. It sounded really great for how small it is, but it's 180 bucks. So I didn't like it very much. Uh, this one here is 400 bucks and it sounds good. But I mean, if you want a portable speaker that sounds awesome, the Hyperboom is way better than this thing. Um, the Hyperboom is also, uh, splash proof and all that stuff as well. So it's a nice speaker, but I, I can't justify spending $400 on it. I think if you could pick it up for 300 bucks, it might be worth it, uh, because of the smart features and all that. But otherwise I, I just don't think it's worth it. So again, you guys have any questions at all, hit me up in the comments. I'll get back to you. It may take me a day or so, but I will get back to you. I promise you. If you have any questions, comments, or, uh, you know, want a recommendation, hit me up. I'm always around. And I think that's about it. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, y'all. I really appreciate it. I hope everybody has a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Cheers.